Our next speaker will be our next speaker will be Dr. Dr. Anvar Amin Shilat, Governing Body Executive, City uh, Sahab Memorial Polytechnic College, Kerala, India. Dr. Anvar Amin Shilat is the Managing Director of the Regency Group for the Corporate Management, is driving the force behind the group's inspiring success over the years. He does the coveted management, managing director as well as the key senior position for uh, of more than 24 companies across different genres, which includes uh, retail industries and healthcare, with a total combined turnover of 700 million US dollars. Dr. Anwar Amin holds a doctorate in retail business management as if uh, his ever increasing passion to work in human trade, human trade, uh, humanitarian, humanitarian line always keeps him on toy to uh, to work closely with the regional uh, non-government organizations and leads from front for for the educational reforms of underprivileged community. Vice President's Athletics Federation of India. The latest feather of uh, feather of his cap, the president of Kerala State of Athletics Association, and uh, is again affirming his under uh, under disputed position as a key reformer, even governmental authorities bank upon from across the globe. Dr. Anwar Amin Shalit will show how significant is the relationship between Khalifa bin Zayed Foundation and. CC Sihab Memorial Polytechnic College in Kerala that led a number of achievements and success. I would remind everyone to post your question in the chat box if you have. Dr. Anwar Amin Shalat, you can start. Please, floor is yours. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Greetings with the grace of Almighty. I wish a great time to all. Welcome, dignitaries and participants to C20. Samashala International Webinar under the banner of G20 India 2023, organized by Indian Social Responsibility Network in collaboration with the Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan Foundation UA. We extend our warmest welcome to all of you. The C20 brings together civil society organizations across the globe to facilitate political dialogue with the G20. This promotes Presentations of concerns of civil society, and the ultimate vision is to foster a global community, a world where all people feel interconnected, breaking boundaries, and promoting unity. In short, C20 seeks to empower civil society by actively involving them in shaping G20 policies and decisions. Thank you, Mr. Ashish. Manshav Ramani, Associate Director, Indian Social Responsibility Network, for your warmest opening remarks. It gives us immense pleasure and great honor that myself, Dr. Anwarvin Chalat, and Mr. Mohammed Ziyad, representing CD Sahib Memorial Polytechnic College, Kerala, India. Khalifa Foundation, being the key contributor of thematic work groups of C20 titled Seva, Sense of Service, Philanthropy, and Volunteerism. It's a great privilege for me to reflect on the life of and legacy of late His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the esteemed former president of UA, his visionary leadership, unwavering commitment to the improving lives, and dedication to philanthropy have positively impacted countless lives and inspired global efforts towards a sustainable and prosperous future. We are pleased to share decade of experiences before the global community, chaired by Dr. Mohanadar Alavi, innovative expert, Zaid University. I am greatly privileged being with our partners, Ms. Fatima Ismail from Kenya and Ms. Fatima Aita from Gaza in this global platform. 
let us have a brief description on historical background of our institution. CD Saib Memorial Polytechnic College is a vocational institution established in 1962, run by civil society organization named KMEA. Our institution has been named after former speaker of Kerala Legislative Assembly, KM Sidi Sahab, who was the great visionary and social reformer. Establishing a vocational institution in a society backward region 60 years ago was an Herculean task, but its dedication tuned them dream into reality. SSM Polytechnic alumni serves across the globe as a highly skilled workforce, making significant contributions in various sectors. We thankfully acknowledge the support from central and state governments of India for overall development of our institution since its inception. I wish to overview the significant project here. The vision of Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan Foundation for pioneering welfare in initiatives in health and education, both locally and globally, is a favorite occurrence of our time. We take immense pride being part of their education strategy, particularly in supporting vocational educational projects. We are affiliated with All India Council for Technical Education and State Board of Technical Education over, over 60 years. We have empowered and transformed the lives of more than 50,000 individuals by equipping them essential skills, paving the way for ample job opportunities and ultimately enhancing their quality of life. We have been fortunate to undertake skill development mission named Community Development through Polytechnic by Government of India to address the skill and career needs of numerous rural youths with a special focus on women. In the year of 1992, Government of India has selected our institution as one of the few Indian colleges to be part of Canada-India Institutional Cooperational Project. The continuing education cell established as a part of Canadian project provides occasional training programs to cater the skill needs of business, industry, and community, including socially, educationally marginalized groups. The transformative initiative undertaken such as empowering fishermen community along the Tirur coastal line with skill development interventions and providing homes for homeless by students and staff members through the national service scheme, reflecting the true realization of visionary goals of Khalifa bin Zayed University Foundation. Let me give a light to our skill career mission. Thanks to the strategic and visionary support of Khalifa Foundation, our institution has undergone a transformative journey. The whole support enabled us to develop an ecosystem for skill development and expanding community knowledge. The impressive His Highness Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan Academic Block is nearing completion, serving as a tribute to their visionary impact. It's a great milestone that we have established a collaboration with national, nationally reputed organization, Indian Institute of Technology Palakkad to promote technology, research, entrepreneurship, and skill development. Also, we have been privileged to be in the partnership with the Kerala Knowledge Economy Mission with connect job seekers with employers contributing to the Kerala growth and knowledge-based economy. We have marked it as a historical event that our placement wing, Leeds Venture Lab, has facilitated job placement for numerous youths, even during COVID-19 pandemic. All this remarkable initiative empowered the youth towards the brighter future, achieving the development goals of Khalifa Foundation. I think it is the time to talk about our ISR initiatives. Representing pioneer vision of Khalifa Foundation, we have initiated philanthropy through our institutional social responsibility initiative called LEADS, Center for Local Empowerment and Social Development. With this remarkable initiative, we aim to educate and equip the local population, fostering a sustainable society 
for harmonious living, especially envisioning the philanthropical goals of Khalifa Foundation. It's a great honor that institutional chapter of the National Service Scheme has won the national award by Government of India for Village Adoption Program. Being a commendable philanthropic initiative, we collaborate with the Malapuram District Trauma Care, which voluntarily contribute to emergency services, road accident response, disaster management, and trauma care. This partnership has been instrumental during the disasters, Kerala floods, COVID-19, pandemic, etc. It was a pioneer vision in the history of Kerala that we have established a Students Innovation Club in the rural government school, empowering students with 21st century skills and fostering a make, ma maker culture. The very well appreciated pink technician program empowers rural women with the skill and livelihood opportunities as a part of community for women in development activities. Our very creative apparel design skill development and production center for women promotes self-employment ventures. It's an unparalleled philanthropic in initiative that we undertake number of home for homeless project every year providing shelter for deserving families. Next, let me give you a short review as a startup ecosystem enabler. Indeed, it's a proud affiliation we have with Innovation and Entrepreneurship Development Center under Kerala Startup Mission for promoting entrepreneurship. With a remarkably continued support from of Khalifa Foundation, we have set up a technology business incubator to transform students, women, rural youth into entrepreneurs. We are proud to proclaim the collaboration with Kerala Development and Innovation Strategic Council and working with over 130 plus cloth bag manufacturing units, empowering more than 350 women entrepreneurs. We greatly appreciate the contribution of Khalifa Foundation, which positively impact community knowledge and livelihood. Let me conclude with our collective vision for the future. Aligned with the vision of Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan Foundation, we prepare, prepare, prepare ourselves to address future philanthropic needs by actively engaging with the economically marginalized groups, including laborers, fishermen, farmers, and low-income individuals without land holding. Philanthropic initiative drive positive community change through action like funding local organization, raising awareness, investing in education, supporting social entrepreneurship, and fostering collaboration. Philanthropic entities can empower communities and individuals by offering financial support to local organizations. Moreover, by raising awareness through these initiatives, mobilizes individuals and creates a sense of urgency for collective actions. Investing in education programs enhance individual skills, job prospects, and community contributions. Supporting social entrepreneurship enables philanthropic organizations to foster innovative solutions to social and environmental challenges. Fostering collaboration among stakeholders enables effective response to complex social challenges, amplifying the impact of philanthropic initiatives in the promoting community development and positive social changes. As a closing note, we are thrilled to announce a transformative, a transformative project named Musri Village, an integrated rural development project with the motto, preserving past, empowering future. This initiative aims to drive sustainable socio-economic development in the rural villages. Musi Village is a civil society organization with the rich socio-cultural heritage of Kerala, with a vision to become 21st century model village, promoting United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. We invite the world community to join us in our mission for progress, prosperity, and sustainable development together. We can create a world where every village shines with possibilities and hope.
as we conclude we submit the above recommendations before the dignitaries and policy makers of c20 working groups and g20 leaders we request implement this globally in the years to come as a closing remark i sincerely appreciate the indian social research network and khalifa bin zaid al nahyan foundation for granting us the opportunity to present at the c20 international webinar thank you one and all thank you very much thank you very much uh, dr uh, anbar amin uh, shilat thank you very much for your uh, uh, informative and initiatives that we held in your presentation the successive achievements of the teamwork and cooperation between the two institutions for sure are the biggest witness to the success of this cooperation and the reflection on the ground we see the educational institution as a result of phil philanthropic research promote uh, promote uh, promotes uh, us to to make recommendations that support education for every person in need thank you very thank you. much welcome sir thank you thank you welcome thank you thank you thank you dr ambar